The most attractive and magnetic thing that you can possibly do is walking away. Namaste, my friends. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt. I'd like to thank you for stopping by to manifest with me today. In today's video, I want to share with you the power of walking away and why this can make you extremely attractive and extremely magnetic and actually allow you to manifest more than you can ever imagine. Usually when we think of this idea of walking away from a relationship or whatever the case is, we think of loneliness. We think of, you know, abandonment. We think of all these different things, but we don't actually realize that this is one of the most attractive and magnetic things we can possibly do. And in doing so, we're actually going to attract better things into our life, better people into our life, better situations into our life as opposed to consistently what we think is going to happen is we're going to feel lonely, we're going to feel sad, and we're going to depress. So it has the opposite effect and hopefully knowing that will give you a lot of hope. So I'm going to share with you exactly why that is and exactly kind of what you can start doing today in this video if you're wondering if you need to walk away or whatever your situation is. Hopefully today this will all get solved for you. So we'll get to that in this video. Before we do though, Right now, I have a free manifesting a specific person course. It's seven days to manifest your specific person. It's loaded with fantastic content. It's loaded with a ton of value. It's gonna teach you step-by-step step on what you need to do to no longer be ignored by your specific person, ghosted, any of those things. They're gonna completely adore you and cherish you when you're all finished. So if you are interested in being a part of this course, it's 100% free. There's a link in the top of the description box below. Click it, sign up. I know you're absolutely going to love it. Okay, so if we're in a relationship right now that we're not happy with, we're not satisfied with, we're not feeling good about, what takes place there? What are we feeling? Well, we're feeling those things. We're not feeling good about it, right? So what's then that vibe or that alignment that we're putting out? We're putting out feelings of not feeling good, of this relationship not working out whatever the case is, um, of confusion, of upsetness. All these things, what's taking place when we're doing this is we're putting out the alignment of that and thus we're getting more of it. So we're kind of in a hamster wheel when it comes to this relationship. And of course, we can always attempt to change it. We can always attempt to change our perspective, change our point of view, but if that's still not working, we have to really decide if we want to walk away from this. And in fact, I say really decide like it's a big decision, it should not be a big decision for you. If you're even considering walking away, walk away. When you walk away from something that isn't serving you, you send out, again, this vibration or this alignment of value. You value yourself. You understand your worth, you understand your value, and that is the biggest power move you can possibly make is valuing yourself, knowing this is not good for you, and walking away knowing much better things are out there for you, much better things are on the horizon for you. Again, a lot of the time, if we feel our specific person or the, you know, the, the, the significant other in our relationship, if we feel them pulling back, usually we feel the need to go in further, right? They're pulling back, so we're going in further. You know, but of course, and, that, and that's for us looking for that validation. Well, they're not texting me as much. Well, they're not calling me as much. They're not talking to me as much, or they're not treating me with as much respect as they should. So I need to go in more. I need to go in more to them so they see me more and they feel me more and you know, I can get their attention more. But again, see what happens energetically. When I pull in, they pull back more. The more I'm pulling in, they're pulling back more. And the more I'm going in, the more I'm leaving my actual self behind me, right? I'm leaving myself behind. I'm devaluing myself by constantly going into this person more and more and more. And so understanding that simple idea, the more I go in, the more they pull back. What happens when we pull back? See, what happens when we pull back more into ourselves is energetically, they start coming more towards us, okay? So again, that's, extremely, extremely important. And again, this could be your specific person coming more towards you. If your specific person doesn't pull towards you when you're going back, 
they're not for you and you can let them go. Others will chase you. Others will start coming in, okay? And again, why is that? Because you're choosing yourself. That's why. You are choosing yourself, choosing yourself, valuing yourself, understanding your worth and choosing that over everything else. And doing that is the most attractive and magnetic thing that you can possibly do. Again, when you do that, it signals to the other person and it signals out to the entire world, the entire universe that, again, you value yourself, you love yourself, you prioritize yourself, you care for yourself. And again, those are the most magnetic and extremely attractive qualities that anybody can possibly possess and anybody can possibly have. Anytime you are going out, anytime you're going away from yourself and going out to find somebody, to feel validation from somebody, to get value or to feel valuable from somebody, Again, when you step out of yourself in order to think, you have to go over there to get it, you are abandoning yourself. You're leaving yourself in the dust. You're saying, I'm not capable of feeling the love. I'm not capable of feeling my value. So I need to go and find it from someone else. I need somebody else to tell me those things. I need somebody else to make me feel like I can't do it myself. And you're leaving yourself behind. You're abandoning yourself, you're walking away from yourself. That's not good. That doesn't even feel good to think about that, that we're leaving ourselves in the dust. No, 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 no. We gotta flip this around and we gotta start fully understanding our worth, fully valuing ourselves, and fully bringing all that energy back to us and investing it in ourselves and understanding that we don't need to go anywhere. We don't gotta lean into anything. No, no. We can pull back, we can be the ones to walk away and we can reverse and shift this energy back and so it goes towards us. When you start walking away, it gives that other person space, right? You're no longer leaning in, it gives them space. And what happens when they start to receive the space? What happens when they feel that vibe radiating off of you that you value and appreciate yourself and love yourself and prioritize yourself? They're gonna want in on that. They're gonna be the ones leaning into that. They're gonna be the ones chasing you. And again, as I said earlier, if they're not, if they don't chase you, they aren't for you. There is somebody else and that other person is gonna come into your life very, very soon if you continue up with this vibe and this alignment. There's no way this won't work, okay? So again, have your confidence and keep that in mind. If you're in a relationship or in a situation where you feel like you know, it might be time to walk away or you feel like you're giving a lot of energy and not giving it back, good. Take that energy that you're putting in, take it and give it back to yourself. That's the biggest power move you can make. Value yourself, love yourself, appreciate yourself, understand that you are the most important thing in the world because without you, <laughs> you wouldn't be in this world, right? So again, you gotta treat yourself in that way and prioritize that you are important. Do not abandon yourself for somebody else. Do not abandon the love for yourself to put it on somebody else. Do not abandon anything and give it to anybody else. You give everything to yourself and in return, you're gonna find more of it on the outside. So don't be afraid to walk away if you don't feel like you're being treated the way that you deserve to be treated. Don't be afraid to walk away if you feel like you know, at one point this was great and now it's kind of going downhill a little bit. Don't be afraid to walk away if you're not feeling the 100% worth and value that you're able to give yourself. At any time you turn and you walk away, pull back and give yourself that energy. That is the biggest power move you can make. That is the most magnetic version of yourself. That is the most attractive version of yourself. And from that point forward, you are going to bring in the love that you crave from people that deserve to be in your life people that will value you, people that have to level up to you. We said the other day, never drop down for somebody else. You stay up high, you level up, and you make others come up to you, or you attract others that are on the same playing field as you. Never do you need to drop down to be with somebody else, absolutely not. So take that today and use it in your life in whatever situation that you're in. Understand the power in walking away. This isn't a bad thing. This isn't a means to you feeling lonely or sad or anything like that. This is a new door opening. This is understanding that you are putting yourself in the priority spot in your life. And you're going to create the most epic life ever. You're gonna manifest the people that you want. You're gonna manifest the love that you want. And it's all in the power in taking everything back, valuing yourself, loving yourself, giving it all back to you because you absolutely 100%
deserve it. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure before you go to leave a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel here. I'd love to have you be a part of this community, this awesome community that we've worked so hard to build. Also, please connect with me on Instagram or TikTok. I post daily on there, daily manifestation tips and inspiration for you to enjoy. And of course, before you go, hey, it's free. Get that free seven day manifesting a specific person course. We're gonna talk a little bit more about what we talked about in this video today. So there's a link in the top of the description box below. Click that, download it, enjoy it. I know it's gonna absolutely change your life. And as always, thank you so much for joining me today. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.